think we're going to put on the timing cover. Got my timing cover here. See you in a little bit, okay? All right, back here. I'm putting in the new uh, front seal and the timing cover here. It says to do this K okay, drain, da, da, da. okay, clean out the recess in the cover, coat the outer edge of the new seal with the motor oil with motor oil install using a special tool. Okay, okay, so it says put some oil, so I'm going to use, use my engine lube here or my assembly lube on the outside okay this stuff's pretty slick okay all right use the pipe it'll make it even at least <laughs> Bad idea. Don't use the pipe. Okay. Everywhere. Can you still see it? There. Okay, we're going in. Just go, just go around a little bit at a time. seated okay so you don't necessarily you just got to be careful use a soft mallet and uh, just so let me show you as you can see by that piston right here this is my number one this is top dead center or close to it at this point I've had to move it I had to move the crankshaft but anyways so here's top dead center now um, you can see Okay, you see the key here? Zoom me in here. Right. See the key right? Right here. It's hard to see because there's a lot, I think. There's a key right here. See this key? This sprocket fits onto this keyway. Anyways, and on the sprocket for the um for the crankshaft, there's uh, there's settings. If you want to retard it, advance it degree wise, four degrees retard, four degrees advance, or just normal. In this case, I picked the O, which is just normal. Okay, so you put the sprocket on the keyway with your chain um, on the small sprocket, but then you've got to get there's a there's a dot. Okay, Let's see if I can get this dot for you. You see that? right there see that dot right there there's a dot okay now that dot then you want that to be at 90 degrees matching up to the O the, the zero degree setting on in my case the O O setting on this on the uh, crankshaft sprocket Anyways, right now I'm working on putting on the uh, timing cover. Let me show you something I picked up. Anyway, so let me show you what I've done here. I've uh, I gasketed. I put RTV uh, black uh, uh, RTV sealant and used it like a glue 
which it technically is, I guess, uh, as a sealer, but uh, to put the gasket on, to put the gasket over the holes so they don't move when I install this. And I just used some of the bolts to keep it in place while it dried. So that seemed to work pretty well. I picked that little trick up from uh, Fiat Nut, which he's on YouTube also. So, anyways, thought that worked pretty good. Basically, what we're going to be doing is when I put the cover on, I'm only going to use uh, three, four bolts, just the ones to hold it on, and then I've got to torque it, and I've got to align it with the dampener. I got, and that was from the book. So, but basically, tighten it down. I put some threading uh, lube in there just to give it a little something extra. But uh, let's see how this goes. And we end up putting uh, sealant. I'm gonna flip this around. <sighs> oh, okay, here we go. A little easier for me to work. Is it? Um, where the uh, where the joints are. Let's see if we can see that. Yeah, where the where the pan. There's the pan, and here's the cover right here. Where the pan meets the the cover, there is. This is where you're going to have to have some good gasket there, and also on the on the pan side. So I'm going to put some here, here, and just get this nice and done. I'll have to wipe it because I won't be able to do the pan today. So. Let's stop talking and uh, let's get going here. Okay. Okay, so. Okay. Let's see if we can get this right. And I'm using I have dowels. There's dowels that originally came with the engine, so I'm using those original dowels too. fit and I'm probably screwing up by doing this but I think I'm gonna put a little bit put a little bit here oh I'm back I'm putting uh see that I can't really see it but I'm putting some of this uh, RTV sealant right on the edges where the bolts are going. Just seems like a good idea. Actually, I guess this whole area has got to be done. Something.
Okay, there we go. I'm gonna put some of the lube on here. A little bit easier to maneuver. Okay. And you put a little bit of something on here too. And then we'll tighten down the Okay, so we don't have to really push it on. We're not doing that. We're just getting this thing aligned enough, and then I'm gonna tighten everything down. Let me pull this back. Okay, so we're using this as the alignment tool. So get it on the keyway. That way it's all nice. And then we're gonna start, and we start tightening down. It's uh, 15 to 21 pounds on the, uh, valve cover bolts. We got these two in. The other one being not being able to do it. I'm just gonna have to kind of guesstimate here. Pretty sure I'm already at that point. That feels pretty good. It's kind of a guess, but there's not too much I can do about that. There we go. It's kind of hard to see now. Huh? Yeah, sealant goes, here's the intersection right here, goes this way, like this. Anyways, here's where the pan's sitting, here's where the, it's hard to see, but anyways, I'll, put, I'll end up putting some sealant here when I put the pan on. And I'll show you tomorrow what I'm going to do with that, so. All right. All right. Well, we're getting there, guys. All right, All right guys. Uh, thanks for. Uh, it's, hot. it's hot out here again tonight. Maybe a thousand Louisiana or something. So we're just having these really hot, hot, uh, humid nights. It's terrible. Anyways. Um, that's it. I will see you tomorrow.